Hey guys, this is Ali with Tip B at iMuggle on Twitter. Uh, today we're going to look at editing or deleting certain theme elements that you know, that maybe you don't like. I typically do this with SSH. Sometimes you can do it just through the use of Wonderboard, um, disabling a lock background, simple things like that. But if you want to get rid of UI elements, a lot of the times you have to use something like iPhone Explorer or something of that nature to get into the core theme and delete what you don't like. So I'm going to show you some common things that maybe you might want to remove or I mean if anything it'll help you know where the file systems are so if you're making a theme or um, editing a theme or want to add things you'll know where to put them. Um, first what we're going to do is SSH under my phone. I already have all my stuff pulled up here. If you don't know how to do this uh, we have a tutorial up on how to SSH in your phone so go check out that one first. Alright, so oh, apparently my password's not right. Alright, there we go. Um, from the main directory, which is just a slash, you're going to want to go into library, themes. And then you're going to come to this screen. It's going to give you a list of all the themes that you have in Wonderboard. Um, for this example, I'm going to use iTop which is a theme I downloaded from Studio for $1.99. It's by Toy Van. Um, awesome theme. Uh, you gotta tweak it a bit to get it set up right, but um, it's a cool theme. But there's some things about it I just don't like. Um, what I'm gonna show you real quick is never edit the main theme in this window. Always copy it onto your desktop and edit that copy. And then maybe tweak the name a bit like I did here. Um, Basically because if a developer releases an update, any of the changes you made are going to be wiped out with an update and then you're going to have to go in and do it again. So what I do is leave the regular theme the way it is and then make an edited copy, drag it back in there. And then you should be good. Um, and then if you want to see, you can go through and see what an update contained and if you want anything that was in it, you can drag it over to your edited version. Um, so what you do is, like I did, I'm not going to do it again, it takes a bit, but drag it to your desktop or you know, save it from your SSH client. And then you're going to get, on a Mac, you get these dot themes. Um, right click, show package contents. It's going to show you everything that's in that theme. Like this developer included two wallpapers, so if you wanted the other one, uh, you just name that one wallpaper.ping, name that one something else. Um, as far as what I don't like, I'm not crazy about the lock background. I left it alone because I can just disable it in Wonderboard if you wanted to. You could just delete it. Um, I want to get rid of the splash screens. That's a common thing that I just don't like. I think it takes, um, it just makes apps take longer to load and to me that's just kind of counterproductive. Some people like them, I just don't. Um, this is what a splash screen is for those of you wondering. Um, I don't like these either. These little arrows that get put in apps. So. I'll delete that folder too. Um, these are going to be packages, so let's go into this one. Did I come to the wrong theme? Hmm. Pretty sure I copied the wrong folder. Well, either way, these are splash screens too. Um, basically, all it is is it says loading App Store. Or, and this is actually from the GOC Pro. I must have drugged the wrong folder when I was messing with it earlier. Um, either way, it works as an example. Where'd it go? There it is. Um, a lot of them will have this, so I just don't like them. Um, there's nothing else in this folder I don't think that I want. Um, yeah, see, crazy about it. So um, I already know that's pretty much all this folder contains. So again, these are located in a folder called folders in most themes. I'm just going to delete that entire folder. Um, icons, obviously we want to keep those. Here's a neat trick. Um, SMS backgrounds, if you make your own theme, uh, we all know the iPhone is uh, 320 by 480 and um, that's what you make wallpapers. When you make an SMS background, uh, you want to make it 480 by 480. It looks like a square. This is because when you type in landscape, you'll have a gray bar to the side on the right if you don't make it 480 by 480. So just a tip for anyone making their own theme. Um, UI images. 
Um, some of these I didn't want. I like these little buttons that are show up throughout the mail app and whatnot. Um, I typically delete those. Um, let's see what else typically I get suggestions about. Oh, where is my mail app? Mobile email. Okay, these show up in replacement of like the inbox stuff and the trash can for your mail. I don't like those. Mm -hmm. I typically just delete that entire folder as well. Um, if there's nothing in a folder that you want, you can delete it. Um, it's not going to hurt anything. Um, I think that's pretty much it as far as what I want to delete it. Um, let's go through real quick. These are the main ones that most people deal with. Com.apple.chatkit contains everything for your SMS app. Uh, your bubbles, your input fields, your camera selection, your send button, um, pretty much everything but your keyboard that changed in 3.0. Um, com.apple.media player, there's your buttons for your iPod. And these are like your slider volumes. Um, mobile iPod, same thing. Um, these are more for the navigation bars. Um, Mobile Safari, the one you're going to want. It's just your icon. Telephone, um, that contains all of your stuff for your, um, your phone app. I mean, most of these are named pretty obvious. Um, but if there's anything that you want for the forums, and uh, one of us try to help you out, um, as far as anything else goes, once you're done editing what you want to edit, change the name a little bit. Like if you see mine right here, I changed it from itopsb.theme to itopsbedited.theme. So then, like I said, when it updates, it doesn't do it. Um, it doesn't wipe out everything that I changed. So I just dragged this. I already did it, so I'm not going to. But um, I would basically just drag this right back in this window and be done. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have questions, like I said, anything that you want to know how to remove that you're not sure of, um, if you're not sure if it's a file you should um, I would not suggest messing with anything outside of the library themes folder unless you know what you're doing. Um, that's dangerous because in here you get into things that have to do with your actual phone working, not just themes. But um, yeah, questions, comments, leave them below. Thanks, guys.